going to bring up Sumit Singh. Uh, it's, it's a pleasure for me to be able to introduce him. Sumit uh, is the CEO or former CEO of AppFormix and now runs the AppFormix business at Juniper and, and uh, he's going to show us uh, what he's been working on. Thank you, Kevin. So, um, So prior to starting AppFormix, I, I was at Microsoft. I was an operator. And my life was extremely stressful. AppFormix is all about solving the day two challenge. It's about not receiving that call at 2 AM. It's about, for me, saving my marriage. Because quite honestly, my wife caught up one day and said, I'm leaving. It's a new platform which gives you a new generation of tools for operations. It's all of the analytics. It's better capacity planning by consuming data, streams from your environment. It's state-driven orchestration. That means building your environments and making them aware of the state of the environment in real time, taking actions as the states are changing. It's taking that entire experience and presenting it to your organization as a role-based system so that different teams can use it as a collaboration platform to work with all the telemetry, run the analysis, get the notifications, build the automation. And then as you know, we look to the future, nobody really wants to be a cost center, so it also has all the additional tools built in for you to do chargebacks and billing and really fine grain reporting to essentially show everybody what the value of the IT organization is. And here's the best part. It's all software. There is no hardware here. It runs everywhere. It runs on-prem. It runs in the cloud. It runs the same way. It runs on top of your existing infrastructure. OpenStack, Kubernetes, VMware, Azure, Google, Amazon, everywhere. And it's going to run the same way. Now, just a sneak peek under the hood. There's, of course, all of the Juniper devices. We can capture telemetry real time using JTI. Super cool, you know, down to the second, detect those microbursts. Backward compatibility, of course, other vendors don't have JTI. They're not as advanced as us, so you get SNMP for that. Then you have software defined infrastructure Kubernetes, OpenStack, VMware, whatever it may be storage, networking too, all analyzed using AppFormix, your clouds, and now you can even analyze all of the applications. Now, this is of course a newer capability in AppFormix, and it's really cool because what we've done now is essentially opened up the telemetry interface for you to include all of the you know, apps that your users are developing and capture that telemetry as well. And to make that process extremely scalable, you can essentially now import publicly available plugins for you know, popular ecosystems like Nagios directly into AppFormix and capture the telemetry. The key value here, though, is not just the capture. It's the analysis. So AppFormix is um, essentially built into AppFormix as a distributed analysis engine, uses streaming technology, kind of sprinkled across your environment, as this telemetry is being captured, it's being analyzed, it's being converted into KPIs, and then you can use the that, you know, that response from the KPI to build out your automation. So uh, let's look at the first video, please. So as you can see, all the topology has been automatically mapped. It captures the network, the host, the instances. It correlates that entire topology for you. You can capture in real time the telemetry from the devices, how things are connected, jump in, get a real time view of the metrics. So this is um, you know, the JTI capture. And then, of course, as I said, you have SNMP as well. You can import any MIB into AppFormix to run the monitoring. 
As you can see, the user experience is really fluid. Um, we went for an entirely new design point here, and I'm, I'm a gamer, so that's really what our thought process was. Let's build this gaming engine. It's really cool. It's stream-based. Now, of course, uh, it's important to monitor physical infrastructure, but now as we look to the future, it's all about multi-cloud. You've got to monitor what's on-prem. You've got to monitor the public cloud, but then most importantly, as you know, we, we look into the future, our applications are going to span these environments. So it becomes extremely important to get that single pane view of the different components of this application, no matter where they are. Built into AppFormix, of course, is also like a, a process level monitor where we can automatically tag the different processes and units of an application and give that consolidated view to you. So let's, let's look at the next segment, please. So as you can see here, this first is like kind of like a view which is showing you telemetry from all of your hosts, the this, this servers. These could be physical hosts or virtual machines running in the cloud. And then you can jump into a single host to get that you know, deep visibility into the host, see what's going on. And as you can see, we mapped all the processes and apps. Next, here's what's really cool. You can, as you can see, everything's been automatically tagged. You can click on the application and get that consolidated view of the application. This is telemetry captured from each of these units, no matter where they're running. They could be in the cloud, they could be on-prem, and it's all real time. See, that's what's key here. If you're trying to troubleshoot a problem, you want to work with the most current data. And most telemetry systems show you data that's stale. How's that useful? Now. The next thing, we have the visibility, right? You can monitor the resource, the services, all in real time. We can run the analysis. But here's what's key. Modern environments, they're really dynamic. How do you even know what thresholds to set, right? They're always changing. Things are scaling, things are moving. What are you going to do? So built into AppFormix is advanced machine learning, unsupervised learning algorithms that can automatically understand how your environment should be operating. Get those KPIs implemented automatically, and then, based on those KPIs, you can implement your automation. What do you do when there's a failure? Right? So let's, let's look at the next segment. So now, what we see is a host that's being uh, monitored. There's some virtual machines running on this host. You saw that the risk profile of the host changed. It's automatically telling you, hey, this is the reason. It's giving you the reason that CPU load is high. And now it's going to trigger the automation to migrate the workload away from this host. All of this can now be scripted. Right? You can, I'm showing you all of this on the GUI. It's really nice. But you can do everything in code using APIs with AppFormix. And of course, there's a pretty extensive search built into the GUI. You can search through everything. IPs, device names, policies, whatever it may be. Click it, and, and you have it at your fingertips. Now, this is the part I'm most excited about. This is the secret project that I've had my team working on all year. And uh, this, is, this is the part that's going to help me save my marriage if I'm ever an operator again. So, <laughs> It's an entirely new UI, UX, that's based on ML and natural language processing. Um, this is kind of like, you know, if I'm woken up at 2 AM, my version of Siri that I can talk to and see what's going on and, you know, resolve my problems without calling the others in my team members, perhaps who've already quit their jobs because their wives are leaving as well. Thank you. <laughs>